Hi everyone, so today I am back with another video um, and today's video is going to be a haul and first impressions kind of merged into one because some people wanted a haul and some people wanted a first impression so I thought I'd just put them both into one so it's going to be a haul of some new products that I've bought recently and then I'm also going to give you my first impressions on them so yeah I'm going to get started because I have quite a lot to go through and if not it's just going to take forever so before I start I just wanted to quickly say uh, I'm sorry for not posting last week I don't really know what happened I think I was just kind of so busy I had exams and stuff but hopefully I can now resume uh, my filming schedule and I'll be filming once a week every Monday um, and then my videos will kind of go up Tuesday, Wednesday depending on how good I am at editing. So the first two yeah. things I kind of just want to get out of the way because they're not boring but I just want to get them out of the way. <laughs> um, and they are magazine freebies and normally I wouldn't um, show you magazine freebies but I thought that these two are really One really good. One of them is currently free with Elle magazine which looks like this and the magazine is £4 and the free gift with that at the minute is the this which is the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum for all skin types and what I really liked about this is that it responds to skin's individual needs um, and I, I just really like the sound so of it. So the bottle looks like this and it's just like a little tube and I have tried this once and it left my skin feeling amazing. I really like this. Um, I'm actually quite gutted that it's a small bottle but um yeah i really really like this it made my skin feel lovely and it also looked really nice the other freebie is free with in style this month this one is 3.99 and the cover looks like this and the free gift with that is this um which is from percy and reed and it's the smooth sealed and sensational volumizing no oil oil basically this is a hair oil and it does everything that a hair oil does and it also volumizes your hair which i really like the sound of and yeah, I've been wanting to try different bits of hair care really, so thought I'd give this a go. And Perseum Reed's supposed to be a really good brand. So. so the next place I went was MAC, and unfortunately I don't have any of the packaging because I've put it all away in with my packaging stuff. Um, but I got a lipstick. If you on Instagram, you probably would have seen this. When the lady who worked there said that they had it in stock, I literally, a part of me inside just lit up and yeah. Um, so if you haven't guessed already, the lipstick that I got is Velvet Teddy and I love this. Oh, it's a matte finish and it's just a gorgeous brown, nude, pink kind of colour. And it comes up quite orange on camera but it looks nothing like this on. Um, when I first opened it I was a bit like, oh, so this is Velvet Teddy. But then I put it on and I just, oh, I love it. So nice and just... I love this. Um, this was the regular price, which is £15.50. I think that's the price of them. Um, I did get it in Debenham, so I don't know if Debenham's charge a little bit more. But I'm sure that they're £15.50 normally. But yeah, love this. It's, oh, it's my favourite MAC lipstick of all time. I love it. Next thing I've got is from W7, and I got this in the pound shop, um, but I'm pretty sure you can probably find this on eBay or somewhere. And this is the W7 lip paint in the colour naughty and it's just like a red color and i really wanted to try this out because i've heard that these um are very similar to the Too Faced like melted lipsticks um and basically what it is it's like a a liquid lipstick it's a lovely red color and yeah i really wanted to give this a go i don't have the Too Faced ones to kind of compare it but i do think that these are really good so if you ever have the chance to get one of these i really do recommend them and they have a good shade range. So the next place I went was Lush. And I haven't been to Lush for ages. Yeah. So I'll start with the thing that my friend got me. And she got me a bath ballistic. And this is called the Phoenix Rising Bath Ballistic. And this is what it looks like. It's like this crazily bright purple. And it's kind of ombre at the top. It's kind of more pink. And it's got this little kind of gold bit of kind of spicy sandalwoody looking stuff um it smells really nice it smells like cinnamon i've never seen this one before i don't know if it's a new release or if it, i've just never seen it but this is i'm really intrigued to try this i don't know what color this is going to turn the bath but 
I'm very excited. So yeah, that's Phoenix Rising. And then my auntie got me the Twilight Bath Ballistic, which I am so excited about. It's definitely one of the more popular Lush Bath Bombs. It's so nice looking. It's got like little stars and a moon on, and it smells amazing. It smells like lavender. It's just a really relaxing scent. I can't remember what this is like in the bath because the last time I had this was about two years ago. Um, so it's pretty much new to me and I'm pretty sure, I think I, uh, from looking online, this is supposed to reenact like the sunset and I think it changes colours and stuff so I cannot wait to try this. And then my auntie did also get me the Lush Cupcake Face Mask, which I did post a picture on my Instagram, but um, I've left it downstairs in the fridge and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I will include a picture of that. And that is amazing. I love that face mask. It's so nice. Um, it's meant for blemish or oily skin and um, it just really helps my skin and it moisturises it without it making it too greasy. Yeah, I really like that face mask and I really recommend it to anyone who has kind of blemishy or oily skin. It's really, really good. So the last few things I got are from Boots and I've got this little bag full. So the first thing that I got from Boots is this and this is from Collection. And this is the Work the Colour Lip Butter in the shade Vintage Rose and it's a gorgeous like peachy pinky rosy color and this is so nice i really like these um lip butter sticks they're really pigmented and they just feel really nice on the lips they're really easy and they're pretty cheap as well i think they're only about three pounds so i really like this but this one i thought would be a lot nicer for kind of spring summer yeah i really like this so i got that then i got a new powder and normally i get the rimmel stay matte powder but this time i thought i would go for the clear complexion powder because a lot of people say that this is better um and it's not as kind of cakey and it just makes your skin feel a lot nicer so i thought i'd go for this one this is in the color transparent and it is transparent um yeah, I tried this for the first time today and I must say I really do like it. I'm not sure if I like it more than Stay Matte, but I think I prefer the feel of it on my face than Stay Matte. My skin kind of just feels a lot more like it can breathe. I really like this. I think I'm going to definitely kind of start getting this a lot more. So I got that. So the next thing I got is from Nivea and it's a lip butter. This is another coconut scent and I've never seen this one before. Um, I was going to go and get the berry smoothie one, I think it's called something like that um but then i saw this one and i was like "Ooh, that looks really cool so i thought i'd get this one and it's just a plain kind of white lip balm on the inside but it smells so nice i'm really liking the smell of coconut lately i just think it smells really kind of summery so the next thing i got were two sleep blushes i saw these on someone that i watched called tara's youtube and i will put the link to her channel in the description i'm pretty sure it's tara's underscore smile um, I know that's her Instagram, but I'm not sure if that's her YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, she was talking about these. She was the person that also spoke about Milani's Luminoso a lot in her videos. And after trying that, I definitely would go with her blush recommendations. They're really good. So I got two sleek blushes. The first one I got is Pomegranate, which is this gorgeous kind of dark purple shimmery colour. And I love this. This is so beautiful. Um... When I first kind of swatched it, I was a bit like, mm, maybe this is a little bit too dark for me. But then when I kind of blended it out, it just blends out to this flawless, highlighting, but blushy. It's just beautiful. I love this. So I cannot wait to use that. And then she also recommended this one, which is called Life's a Peach. And this is like a bright, matte, um, peachy orange. But yeah, it's a really gorgeous colour. And it just leaves a really nice kind of peachy glow to the skin and I think this is going to look so nice in summer so I got that one as well. The next thing I got is a repurchase of the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and I'm in the colour Light Vanilla. I absolutely love this foundation, it's really really nice, um, just a really simple, just really lightweight foundation. Hasn't got an amazing coverage but I don't really mind that and it just makes my skin really healthy looking and radiant i believe this is £10.99 and i just really like it and i ran out of my other ones so i got a new the one the next thing i got is an eyeshadow and this is from 17 and this is the eyeshadow mono very boring name i must i say and this is in the color rose quartz and it is this absolutely beautiful um rosy it's like a silver taupey kind of color but with a bit of kind of 
rose in it and I accidentally broke mine the first day I got it I accidentally dropped it and then it smashed on the floor and then every has a really hard kind of closing thing so every time that I closed it it would then break a bit more so yeah I think I'm pretty much over the breaking bit now though I don't think I've really got much left to break um, but this is such a gorgeous colour, I absolutely love it and I really want to try some more of the these. The next things I got are from L'Oreal and I got five of these because they were on offer and they did an offer where if you bought a bottle of Diet Coke, you got £5 off these. These are the L'Oreal Colorish Le Extraordinaire lipsticks and I, and I got all of the ones that were available with the offer. So I'll go from lightest to darkest. So the first one is this one and this is called Nude Ballet and this is a really pretty just kind of plain natural uh nude color these are really nice as well they last for ages quite glossy but not too glossy and they're not sticky or anything so i really like these. the next color is probably my favorite and this one's called multi mauve and this looks like this it's a gorgeous like pinky brownie nude color and i absolutely love these colors they are amazing um so i got that one then i got this color which is called rose symphony and this is um, a really pretty like pinky coral colour. It's quite bright um, But yeah, I thought this would be really nice again for kind of spring summer and yeah I just really like this one. Then I got fuchsia drama, which is a really bright Pink uh, with a slight bit of purple in it uh, a, Just a really bright fuchsia basically, but I hate like coming up with a description that matches the name So yeah, it's just a really bright kind of fuchsia colour and I thought this was so so pretty and I don't have anything like this. And then the last one I got is called Ruby Opera. And this is just a kind of classic kind of red. It's slightly darker than the classic red. But yeah, I love a good red lipstick. So, And then speaking of red lipsticks, I got another red lipstick from L'Oreal again. And this is the collection exclusive um, by Colorish. And this is Eva's Red. And it's a really pretty red <laughs> Um, I really don't need any more red lipsticks, but I just seem to have an obsession with them. Quite an orangey toned red, um, I'd say, and yeah, it's a really nice lipstick. It's kind of like a semi-matte finish, and I just really liked this, so I got this. And then the last thing I got is from Rimmel, and this is a mascara, and this is the wonderful mascara, and it just looks like this. This has argan oil in it, which sounds so nice. And I haven't tried this out yet, so I'm not actually going to open it and show you the wand, because I haven't opened it. Um, I just have so many mascaras on the go that I don't like opening loads all at once so I'm keeping this for when I next need a mascara but um, it was on offer and it worked out at only about £5 so I thought I'd get it um, and yeah I'll let you know how this goes so okay so that was everything I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on my next one Bye.